Go back to, to branding and we'll make people owners. That way we can, we can see that change, all right? So we're back to our Power App. We're going to select Bart Simpson team. I just wanna do multiple. We'll do branding and sandbox. And we're gonna select multiple people here. We'll do Anakin and how about uh, Luke? I believe Luke is in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them owners of all three of these teams with one button click. One button click, we go through, we have our little dots, it's thinking, it's gonna take a little bit longer because we have a for all statement in a for all statement. It's done, we go back to our teams, we go back to manage team of branding, boom, look at that. Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, now an owner of that team, sandbox team. Boom, Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, both owners of that team. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions. Thank you guys for watching. If you're liking my content, if this is helping with your Power Apps, please like and subscribe or even share these videos. I'm almost to a thousand users. I'm trying to get to a thousand by January. Maybe it's possible, maybe it's not. But let's get into it. So today, what we're gonna do is we're going to nest a for all statement inside a for all statement. That way we can invite all users to a team, to all teams that we select. So within one button, we're gonna select multiple people into multiple teams, either as a user or an owner to that team. So we have to nest that for all statement inside another for all statement. So this is a continuation to of my last app. Um, you know, pretty much we still have the same thing. We have galleries here and and our choices. Um, we could clean this up if we want to, but I'm not gonna do the UI still. Right now I'm still not doing the UI, we're just doing functionality. All right, so we have a combo box here, right? We want to allow um, it to be multi-select. If you come into the right side of the combo box, the properties, you can see I have allow multiple selections on. Now, it, this gets a little complex, but it's very short and very quick. We can do this somewhere else. We can collect in a button if we want, but we're going to do on the on change of our combo box. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a clear collect command. So this is going to clear and then collect every time. And we're going to collect what? My team members. So this is a name that I just made up. This is the name of my collection. We're going to collect my team members. And what were we going to collect? We're going to collect for all the combo box one dot selected items. So that's all the items that we selected. We're going to collect my team members, or we'll say my members so it doesn't confuse itself. My members, the display name. Display name. All right, I was just miss missing a parentheses. So we're gonna collect my team members for all the combo boxes selected items, we're gonna collect the display name. So let's go ahead and test it out. Every time we click, it's clearing and collecting. I selected four people. Let's go back to file, check out the collection, my team members. You see we have four people collected. Perfect, that's what we wanted every time we make a change in our combo box, we are collecting team members. All right, now that we collected the display names, I wanna change this to ID. So this is actually the members ID instead of the display name. So my members in the combo box were changing to ID. So now we're gonna to go to add to all teams. Now, what we're gonna to wanna to do is nest a for all statement inside this for all statement. So if you didn't see this um, formula last time, you can go to my last video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. But we have for all teams. We're gonna nest another for all statement inside that for all statement. And it's going to do for all my team members. So for every one of my team members in my collection, we're going to add a member and then we're gonna change, this is ID from our teams and then we're gonna change this part right here. The combo box, we're gonna say all my members. 
and then add a parentheses. So my members is from the other combo box. My members is the ID of each of these people. All right, so we're gonna test it out. Let's test it out. I'm gonna remove everyone in here. We're gonna look at my teams. I'm looking at the sandbox team, right? We have two owners, no guests. I'm going to add, let's do Captain America, Charlie Brown, Dwayne Johnson, Darth Vader, Forrest Gump. We'll, we'll add a bunch in there, five. And we're gonna add them to all the teams selected up here. Sand pro sandbox, Frogs, Water Project, Space Project. I click Add to All Teams. Now you can add a spinner in here if you want, but you can see at the top, these dots are gonna go. And it's gonna push out all those people. It's gonna take a little bit more time than last time. And it's gonna push all those people out to all the teams. So let's just give it a minute while these dots are still going. It's looping through, so it's doing a for all in a for all. It's gonna take a little bit longer. And you can see the button is now back. So we can see in sandbox, it's blank. Let's go to space project just real quick. And then we'll go back to sandbox. You'll see I have a bunch of more members. Dwayne Johnson, Darth Vader, Forrest Gump, Captain America, Charlie Brown. Let's check another team out. Let's check out frogs. I, I know people are not in there. This was from a, another uh, example project I was doing. Manage team. We'll look. We have a ton of members in here. Uh, space project. You look inside. You notice that the, the count hasn't even caught up yet. That's just a little glitch, I think, that happens in Microsoft Teams. But we can see Dwayne Johnson, Spider-Man, Darth Vader, Forrest Gump, Captain America, Charlie Brown. We have now done a for-all statement, nested in another for-all statement, and that is now working for our Power App. Um, I'm just going to, if you guys want to end watching here, I just want to thank you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of fix the UI a little bit. I think it's a little, a little clunky. I'm just going to go ahead and do the UI off, you know, off video and I'll come right back and you guys can check it out. So I just updated the UI, the user interface, the UX. I just wanted to, you know, kind of make it look a little more presentable. I know probably not everyone wanted to watch me do that. Maybe you do. If you want to watch me update uh, UX or UI for Power Apps, uh, let me know. I will create more videos on that. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment and I will do that for you. But now, so we have different teams. I have a button here to clear it out. And we can, this will automatically clear as we select people. So we can remove people or not. So let's add in, let, let's check out my teams. Um, let's check out a team that doesn't have many people. How about branding? It has four members. What about a calendar test? Five members. Uh, let, let's go back to, to branding. And we'll make people owners. That way we can, we can see that change, all right? So we're back to our Power App. We're going to select Bart Simpson team. I just want to do multiple. We'll do branding and sandbox. And we're going to select multiple people here. We'll do Anakin and how about uh, Luke? I believe Luke is in here. Ooh, Luke Skywalker. So we selected two people. So we have Anakin and Luke. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them owners of all three of these teams with one button click. One button click, we go through, we have our little dots, it's thinking, it's gonna take a little bit longer because we have a for all statement and a for all statement. It's done, we go back to our teams, we refresh, we go down here to frogs, all right, and then we go back to manage team of branding, Boom, look at that. Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, now an owner of that team. Let's see, we have the Sandbox, Sandbox team. Boom, Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, both owners of that team. So we now have a for all statement nested and you can select multiple people, pushes it out to every team. I just wanted to uh, show you guys that, you know, nesting the for all statement inside another for all statement. I will put the formulas in the description. And so you can see here, you know, for all, inside another for all, we push out all the team members to all the teams. This 
app right here that I've created maybe in two hours can save an administrator hours of time in their daily activities. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, share my video, whatever you'd like to do. You don't have to like, subscribe, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Thank you guys. See you next time.